Dab, stop, dab, stop. No? Hey everybody and welcome to Our Great House Vlogs. I'm Lisa. I'm Marvin. And today we're gonna to be making, <laughs> what did you do? Oh. I'm in the front. Like Vogue? Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna to be making a lantern and we're making it out of Dollar Tree products. I purchased six Dollar Tree frames and we've dismantled them. Where did you find this? I bought I bought the Dow, the square Dow at Elliott's, which is a local hardware store. And I forget how much it was, but I cut it down to the size of the photo frames and we're gonna be using it as a, did you say brace? Yeah. A brace of sorts. So my idea is to glue on two of the frames to glue the brace on here like this, okay? And then, I don't know if you can see this, but then we're gonna take E6000 and hot glue and then glue like that. When we do glue it, we're gonna leave just enough space where the next frame will hang onto the edge there. So we're yeah. gonna glue it just close enough to leave a little lip. Because ideally, and I don't know how to zoom in and zoom out because I don't have a remote, but Ideally, the two edges of the frame are gonna like just basically meet up together and that brace is gonna be on the inside so I have more to adhere glue to and, and it'll stick better. That's my hope. We also need to E6000 clean off and I guess I don't have to clean them off right now, but I want to put in the glass because the glass needs to be in before we start putting stuff on, right? I mean, it's not gonna affect the brace part, but once we start gluing one to the other, I wanna go ahead and have the stuff in because, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, we need to, uh, how are you going to attach, keep the glass from coming out? E6000. Oh, you're gonna glue that in? Ding! E6000. Um, that's what I was thinking. I was just gonna put, honestly, like, um, Well, it won't figure matter, because you can, insert the glass inside let's say this is a complete frame you just okay hang on so so let's go with that idea it's a take the glass out okay. hold it up you got a complete frame here yeah okay go ahead and stick it in with the glue on it don't get the glue nowhere you're going to put the glue on this on this but on the inside honey hmm? you're going to put glue on the inside Yes, I put a glass, a dab of glue on the inside of the frame. All the way around the frame? Just a dab here. Wouldn't here. it just be easier to do it now? I'm just asking. Yeah, See, this is this how we work it all out. I think it'd be easier to just go ahead and put it on now. Well, go ahead and do it now. Maybe. Well, because I'm thinking like if the glue starts to drip, we can just yeah. clean it up and catch it now. Okay. You had a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so E6000 is actually a really smelly glue. Do I need to get like a Q-tip or something to kind of put some on the edge? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay, pause for a um, commercial. But you want to clean your glass too. Okay, we want to clean the glass too. Here we are, we're back. And we are going to be using the E6000 and a Q-tip in order to put just little dabs, uh, dabs of the, uh, dabs, 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 dab, no? Um, of the E6000 on the photo frame because I don't want it seeping through to the front or anything like that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And I did put down some, uh, what do you call it, paper? Uh, so that way it doesn't mess up the counter in case anything drips. I have seen other lantern tutorials where they did not put the glass back in and maybe on the next one I'll do one without the glass but I just thought it might look kind of pretty with the I'm gonna put like a little that's the cat in the he's playing in the paperback um, I just thought it would be kind of pretty to see the light bouncing on the glass I'll have a, a candle in there a fake candle don't worry not gonna burn anything down also today's t-shirt state fair Texas Youth Livestock Committee volunteer. All right, honey, what's the next step? I'm gonna glue, put a dab of glue on these little 
sticks. A little dabble, do you? Leaving just a hairline. We're not trying to leave too much room because we don't need that much room. They're, they're butting up against each other, but we're gonna glue down the braces for the lantern on two, two, <laughs> two of the photo frames. This is my little DIY um, glue gun holder. Made from Dollar Tree products. I can link that in the description box below. <laughs> But uh, we're not going to be, this is not, E6000, E6000 takes like 24 hours or whatever to cure. So I'm heating up my glue gun really quick and we're going to add a dab of hot glue on the braces so that way they will adhere now. And then the E6000 can cure overnight for a more permanent hold. So this is how it looks when you have the braces glued on. And now comes the tricky part. And this is why I kind of needed a partner to do this because we're gonna be attempting to glue the other sides. In my mind, it's gonna work great. So what I was thinking was to again, just like we did the glue to glue it onto this frame, we're gonna put some dabs of glue here and then we're gonna attach the other frame. Not yet, don't attach yet. Okay. So we're going to put some of the E6000 just like we did before, and then we're going to add some of the hot glue. My hot glue can only reach so far, <gasps> like that. You know, strings from the glue. So now we have the third side up, and before we go any further, we're going to glue the fourth side on. And here we go. Here we go, here I go. It's already looking cute. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, we're going to let that dry for just a little bit. But we need to work on the base. So for the base, I just took some paint sticks that I got for free at the local hardware store and I painted them black. And we're going to put... How do you paint sticks come? I cut them down. You sure? I cut it down. Okay, so I have my little base and what I was thinking was I would put these on the inside and Probably should have measured before we glued, but whatever. Um, putting them on the inside like that, so that that will set on it and kind of, do you know what I'm saying? Lock it in, in a way. Mm -hmm. And if you're wondering, <laughs> these two pieces here, you pass me that one, baby? My handy dandy assistant. These two pieces here are gonna go on the top like so, and form the, um, whatever, the top. Lantern. The lantern part of the, Top of the lantern. Top of the lantern to ya. So, um, how are we gonna figure this out without messing this up? Well, sir, I say we let it dry for a little bit and then... Then measure? Measure. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's what we're gonna do, folks. We have taken a rubber band and put it around, we stood the lantern up, Put a rubber band around it to kind of hold it all together. Marvin's making sure it's square, because that's not my that's not my gift. That's not my blessing to to be able to know how to do that kind of stuff or pay attention to it. So I had already made this out of paint sticks. I cut them down to size. I measured twice, but she cut twice. <laughs> so apparently, I made them too small. Luckily, I still have some paint chips and I also have some um, shims that are kind of longer. So if need be, I could just cut the one part down. You said paint chips? Paint chips. Did I say paint chips? Yeah. Paint did sticks. You eat, did you eat paint chips when you were a child? <laughs> so, so Tommy uh, Boy. Tommy Boy reference. So um, anyway, he's saying that this is too small because you can kind of see inside right there. And I said, nobody's going to notice that. And he said he would notice it. And yeah, if you look underneath, you can see a gap. So, um, I guess I will make a new one. Or I will. There you go. So, um, I thought I had measured correctly. 
But um, yeah, I mean, it would have been better for me to even be a little bit over. And then I, ideally, I'm gonna put little um, square, some of these square cubes also on the bottom to kind of lift it up so it's not resting right on the ground. So when it rains and stuff like that, it's not getting just like sitting in water or anything. But yeah, okay, so another added step to this project. In another change of plans, we're gonna put, instead of putting these little squares, okay, originally, this is the bottom, we were gonna put the squares right here and then the lantern would sit on top. So now, Marvin is saying, to put this here, it's still gonna have a gap though, honey. We're not eliminating the gap. Just where? Oh, no, we're not. Well, yeah, because. No, we're not. It will be right on the edge. And so you won't see the gap. Yeah. But there's still a gap. Either make another base. Yeah, or, which we don't really have the supplies for. Or use this and. My idea was to add an edge like this all the way around and just go sh -sh -sh, and then it's big enough voila problem solved but Marvin's idea to put it on the inside is a little bit better than us trying to line up all of these little squares to be honest and i have enough wood to line the outside and put the little inside sticks i don't know what to do though that's why i got him so what do you think babe I would use this. To line the outside and the inside? Or just the inside? Just the inside. So, and you're gonna deal with the gap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know they say mind the gap um, in like uh, England, like for the two, when they, the subway? No, I don't know that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm enlightening you, I'm telling you. They say mind the gap. I think like the announcer lady goes, mind the gap. And then there was a story about a lady whose husband used to say mind the gap. And then she would sit in the, he's walking away. She would sit in the terminal and like listen to her husband's voice. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna work on cutting these down um, to, yeah, the inside, just the inside. And then we'll deal with the gap. And if you come over and you see it, don't say nothing, okay? Just, okay, just mind your business. So now we've measured where we're gonna put little things on the inside. Marvin's gonna add a little bit of glue and I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue. Question. Yes, answer. Do we need to paint these? Well, we do, but I mean, I can paint those okay. in a second. Right. Like while things are drying. Do you want me just put a little bit of glue here? Sure. Okay, one side done. And we'll put another one on this side and then we'll just match up the corners on the other side and we should be good to go. We're in the home stretch now. Marvin is gluing the last two pieces down of the interior braces for the lantern. And we feel like we've measured and checked and measured and checked again and adjusted. So I think all is good. And then I will have to paint that and we'll have to figure out how to attach the top. We haven't even got that far yet, but not too bad for couple hours worth of a project. We have done the base. Can I take this off mm -hmm. to test it? Yeah. Oh. What did? Lift it up. Okay, so we have the lantern, we have the base. Yes, I'll paint it in a minute. Uh, not in a minute, soon I'll paint it. Um, and it fits nice and snug on, so it's not just like loosey-goosey. And Marvin glued these together for us. This is the top of the lantern. And hopefully, yeah, it's gonna fit. <laughs> and so that's gonna be the lantern. Isn't that cute? I'm excited. So now we just have to glue the, um, the, the base to the top. And then a candle goes inside. So, have something like that but not that but yeah something like that it'll look cute right mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna take our e6000 it just has to go on these two sides right yes Ta-da! so <laughs> this is 
finished project. Yes, I'll take the um, rubber band off in a second and I will take off the, uh, I'll dismantle it again because, I mean the base, because I need to paint those little things. Oh, we need to glue on, I guess we can do that right now. Um, glue on the little legs, the little feet. You don't need them now. Yes, I do. For what? This is not Hold it, raise it off the ground. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna put these four little cube shaped pieces um, just like that, right? Mm -hmm. So what Marvin did was um, he just marked where the, where the little piece of wood should go. So that makes it super easy. Great idea, honey. And now I'm just gonna put a little blob of glue and I'm probably gonna put a coat of like polyurethane on the bottom just because this could be sitting on the ground and if it's sitting on the ground and it rains, I don't want it to get too wet. And, you know, I mean, we have the little feet on and I didn't paint the bottom, but I might as well paint the bottom when I'm painting this part. But like I said, I'll probably put a coat of polyurethane on that. And um, yeah, so our lanterns look and cute. Take this off. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Looks good. So anyway, here's our finished product with the little feet. And I'll go put it outside just so I can kind of look at it outside, but yeah. Thank y'all so much for joining us today as we made our first ever Dollar Tree DIY lantern made out of picture frames and some wood. If you want to follow us on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow us in real life though. Because that's creepy.